guys are able to see my screen online people okay thank you in the last session we discussed about the what about the template template right before template letter head right why letter head means letter head is a basic skeleton okay so on the top of it we need to create the template okay so all in letter head is we are already created the letter head classic letter head we go to the appointment letter letter head okay so this is the preview of our letter head now in that we need to add our content so for that purpose we will use what about that templates okay so now this is the letter head go to the templates so classic email templates okay open that now template means our content right so our content may be few text or html something like that right so now see guys here here these are the four types of the templates we will create in the search course one is text few text if you want to send some content only text format that is the first one second one is html using classic letterhead that means we are already creating letterhead right so the template the letterhead with our template so that is the second option third option is custom without letterhead okay the last one is visible post visible post we are not uh, created so that's the reason leave it okay so out of this four text is direct way guys no need to worry about that only the second option bit difficult so that's the reason i will cover this guys okay all are very simple okay now that's the reason and all are same navigation okay now i am choosing this html why because we are already created the letter head so that's the reason i am choosing this okay remaining all are direct without letter head then see for example text go to next yeah here you can add your content email body direct text hi uh, some blah 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 something like that okay this is the letter head uh, sorry uh, text type or template so it is a direct approach there is no compli uh, complication right so that's the reason i am choosing the second option html with letter head that means here we are using our own style right what about that this letter head so we are already designed my temp my email template looking like this. that means in the body i need to add my content so this is in the back end it is a html okay now see here folder unified public classic of my personal anywhere it is okay we are storing our template in this folder what is that public classic email templates okay now did you use this template yes what is email template for example email template name is appointment letter okay so someone selected in our company the hr will send in the email template okay so that's the reason appointment letter now classic letter this is the option available here so that's the reason before that you need to create the what about that uh, letter head we are already created so that's the reason it is coming okay now email layout anything c 
see here how the layout look like did you required which layout so i required only this why because within the our template already there so that's the reason i am selecting this now description what is the description why we are using this why we are using this template so whenever uh, one guy is selected we need to send the template so that's the description now subject what is the subject so same appointment letter is a subject okay understand now i think the dialogue is okay ओके सो अपॉइंटमेंट लेटर नेक्स्ट Understand right? Next. So now see, if it is a text, normal text is coming, normal body. But we are choosing the classic letterhead. So that letterhead we are already choosing, right? So it is coming like here. Now see the body is like dot dot dot. That means click here to enter content. Understand? So here you need to add your content. In the letterhead we are not adding any images, something like that. If you want, you can add it. Okay. So here, click here to enter content. Now you need to add your content here, guys. Okay. So and one more thing, whenever you are sending anything, what is the subject? So appointment letter is a subject. Okay. Next. Level. This is the header and this is the footer. Now here you need to type what is the word that? The body. What is the body? hi for example come to here whenever one guy is joined for example this guy is joined so whenever one guy is joined we are creating the record in the here where is that for example he is in now um, employee okay whenever one employee is joined we need to send the okay offer letter okay so these people are selected candidates so assuming that my requirement is whenever i am creating the record here which record internally contact this is the contact right we are just changing the name right whenever i am creating the contact that information i need to send to the email template which information first name last name so that means hi first name plus last name is equal to name right for example i am sending see here hi for example john congratulations you are selected as senior software engineer in ibm okay we added your package 15 lakhs lpa okay parana uh please accept this of a letter and join within 
30 days okay Thirty days. If not, offer will be rolled out. Okay. Roll back. Roll back or roll out? Anything is fine. Okay. So now here, regards. HR IBM HR PM. Okay. So this is the template, guys. Okay. <coughs> this is the body. <coughs> now, as of now, please see this is the which offer letter? John D. This guy offer letter, John, from the company IBM. Okay. Now see guys, I'm going to next. Text body don't require, why? Because we are already using the template. Same. So this is the, what about that? Email template, subject is appointment letter and this is the content. Okay now how to test it how to test it see here send test and verify match fix okay send a test just as a developer first of all you need to test whether this preview is coming properly or not okay so click on this now first of all this offer letter belongs to whom for example this guy tim bat here in the content in the con sorry email you need to add the respective guy mail id so in my in this case i am the person okay save it what is the contact mr timber copy it okay i am just testing guys it is not real time i am just testing my template is what about the uh, working fine or not as, as per my expectation send test see here for example here there is an already send email preview to Ashok 77 SB something like that why because the organization email id right if you click on ok the mail is sent to my mail id i will say See now, this is the appointment letter. If you open that, see guys, template is coming. Hi John, this is what we are expectation, right? The background is black, blah, 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 blah. Hi John D, congratulations, something, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but why this warning message is coming? Why? Because, for example, I am the person, I am sending to the email to the other person both are same domains why gmail gmail or gmail yahoo but this mail is coming from the sales force not from gmail or not from yahoo right so that that's the reason google people are what about that uh, warned you hey you are getting one email i don't know the domain is previously i didn't see that type of domain what is that from address did you see that see here what is the email id here yeah. via pv blah 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 at the rate see here dot com the domain is different this domain 
in this domain we are getting the email understand so that's the reason salesforce people are warned you because of security so if you you know already it is my org so then look save otherwise you can report spam look save that's it. okay now this is the what about that email template but whenever i am sending that email template every time i am sending to ramesh i am sending to sudesh i am sending to some x i am sending to some y person every time the content is same right the john offer letter sending to all the people but i don't require like that whenever i am sending to john john offer letter will going to the john whenever i am sending to the some peter peter offer letter going to the peter right that means this is the static content static means the content is static whenever you are utilizing this template all the time the same template is what to put that visible to all the people that is not our use case right it is useless why whenever i am sending to some x y some suresh some peter or every time the same email template will be going the same content whenever ashok is joined the company ashok selected that company that means here hi ashok some surname and the guy's package is different right so that's the reason you need to make it this content as a dynamic this content as a dynamic how as of now understand right people all the people online people or offline people anybody having any questions okay guys so now how to make it uh, this content is dynamic again go to the template edit properties here see here this is the html one right we are selecting in the previous one edit html version it's coming here now first of all in this case guys the guy data wait did you store which object we are storing that uh, what about the selected candidates right so in our case which object what is our object api name it is a contact right don't say it is a person why because we are the developers in the end user point of view it is a person but in our point of view it is a contact so con here the person information is there which of the contact that means in the contact this is the contact within the contact first name and last name that means contact dot first name contact that last name i need to put it here understand see how to put that why because that data will be going to the data will be storing in the contact object so i am telling to the system hey go to the contact and get the first name and get the last name so how i will add here instead of this instead of this what i will do first first name see here there is a concept called see guys here some see here some object fields are available all are fields the and is fields are there see but only some objects not all the objects see here there is no account account field are there but uh, some fields what about that uh, here in our case which object you need to select contact contact field see already contact fields are selected okay now here in the contact we hi first name plus last name is equal to name right so that's the reason what is the first name fair field name right what is the first name first name see here this is called contact dot first name there, there is some what about that Kumar, did you join the yesterday call? Yesterday call, yesterday session. I already explained you, right? 
the background color and everything so this is the syntax guys what is the syntax guys are you able to hear my voice other people venkateswar look can you check your end all the people able to okay now see guys from now onwards i will tell you i will introducing one syntax guys the syntax is flower bracket open closed exclamatory that means this is called dynamic notation so dynamic notation means for example understand so i have a i have a john record i have a john record in which object contact object understand the concept here okay i have a john record i have a suresh record i have stephen record okay these are the in the contact so many records are there now whenever i am passing the john record to this okay within the john record so many fields are there why in the record john record this is belongs to contact in the contact first name is there last name is there email is there so many things are there now whenever the system the system means it is a run time engine we call it is a run time engine okay the run time engine in your code whenever it is seeing uh, this type of whatever the syntax it is understand oh this is this is the dynamic notation what is meant by dynamic notation means uh, oh the end user passing some data then i need to go to the particular data and paste the data so for example here i am using contact that means whenever runtime engine come to this syntax oh flower bracket exclamatory that means so oh, i need to go respect to whatever that guy is mentioned so what what we are mentioned here contact so then see the difference is this is the contact and this is also contact but this contact is plain text this contact is within the what about that uh, dynamic notation flower bracket exclamatory the difference between whenever you are executing your program or whatever it may be the runtime engine come to the picture first it is checking oh contact then it is realized this is the direct contact it is a text display as this but whenever it is seeing flower bracket and exclamatory then it realizes oh it is not a text so i need to go what about the data? contact which contact for example i am passing the john then it is going to the john contact and get the contact and display understand for example i am passing this how to pass i will tell you okay for example i am passing the suresh record then the it is not treated as a text it is a dynamic notation then it is going to the contact which contact suresh contact go to the contact object and get the suresh record and display so that is the difference understand so wherever you are see that flower bracket and exclamatory that means we are giving the special instruction to the runtime engine hey this is not a text you need to do some other work what is that you mentioned contact uh, then go to the contact and get the contact record which contact record how to pass i will tell you now come to our scenario guys as of now please remember whenever you are using the flower bracket exclamatory that is the dynamic notation what is meant by dynamic notation we are giving the special instruction to the runtime engine that means system hey this is not a text whatever i mentioned you need to follow that instructions what we are mentioned here contact that means go to the contact and get the respective contact which contact john go to the contact with uh, contact object 
and the find out the where is the john and pick that and display in my in wherever i am using clear so in our entire life we are using this syntax guys okay now in our html template here i required what contact first name and contact last name so i don't require contact object i require within the contact first name understand i don't require entire john record i required go to the john within the john get the first name right why because here hi john sandeep something like that right so that's the reason here see contact here we are like in contact i don't require contact i require contact dot what is the api name first name is a api this is called merge fields the concept is called merge fields what is that yeah. that syntax called merge fields you don't want to write but i just explain how in the back end is pro, uh, process now see here copy that here hi first name john or ramesh or suresh or something okay now hi john first name plus last name space where is the last name again last name. space last name congratulations you were selected see for example i am passing the john uh, with record for example here tim bar so then hi first name what is the first name tim last name is bar then here it is come to the contact and get the tim record hi tim bar understand congratulations you were chosen in the software engineer package is 15 uh, lakhs so i need to change this pack is different right for example here there is no field for that reason uh, any currency field is there there is no currency field uh -huh. in the currency field nothing okay i am just creating one small currency field guys okay some pack is something like that okay how to create it new what is the field uh, currency right why because package is a currency i'm just creating package 18 characters is not possible okay 27 visible to all next Set. Okay, so what is the field? Package is a field. Copy. Again, go to the template. Now here, same syntax, guys. What is that? Contact dot API name package. LPI remaining all are same. Okay. Now if you are passing the John, John information is coming. If you are passing the Peter, Peter information come. something now this is the dynamic template guys okay now save it how to test it how to test it for example here tim bar tim bar having where is the package guys package for example this guy package is 7 lakhs okay 70 lakhs okay Seven lakhs. Now, this record I am passing to our template. Then it is whenever you are passing the team record within the team record, it is getting whatever the fields they want. Okay, how to pass? It? Just for testing, guys. Here again, send. Here see person. Here, please, guys, understand here. for testing recipient is there right here with person means contact which objects are available it is entry question 
so which objects are available in the first uh, word about that uh, recipient uh, recipient records so which object having the email id which object having the email id those objects are available for example please remember in the sales process first campaign campaigning there is no email next uh, after campaign lead lead having the email id yes so lead is coming after that means lead is available in the drop down okay next after lead we are converting to the account and contact so in the account having the email or contact having the email contact that means lead contact that's it again whenever you are creating the user record that means one what about that you are logging as a user right at that time we are providing email id that means user is a object so these three objects are available see lead person means contact user only these three objects why the email id is available in these three objects understand now see now the tim bar is belongs to person contact here you need to select which record you need to pass tim bar okay now i i don't want to add this guys okay but here it is a developer person sometimes it is not working why because uh, it is not fully functional so see guys all the tim bar now if you click on okay then what happened it is our system the runtime engine going to the contact object and check what is that and check contact first name tim contact last name bar it is checking and replace it in the dynamic again package what is the package 70 lakh something replace it then which email we need to pass which email means already this contact email id is already there that email automatically it is getting and pass you don't want to configure anything that's the reason in the drop down only which object is having the email id is those objects are available understand so now it is a dynamic guys just you are passing the contact record it is checking what is the data and email id is already there the data will be replaced in the template and the sent to the respect to email to the particular contact understand now see send in back okay that's it guys it will take some time why because this is a developer session guys it will take some time otherwise i will directly pass it to my mail id not coming okay you can try that why because it is taking some time guys may minimum 5 minutes or 10 minutes so now see in back okay yeah now see i find it later look save hey my package is not coming Why the oh, oh okay so we are creating the new field but we are not refreshing the template okay sorry timber already having the package ah huh? it is already having the package but here here you need to use merge fields contact what is the field what is the field guys See package. So this is the copy it. Okay. Now your package is like this. Okay. Save it. Now again, guys, there is a limitation is there. Okay. Multiple emails are not coming. It is a double prediction. Okay. Now. in back this for just a testing guys okay whether our template is working fine or not 
See, one more mail, appointment letter. I think back, congratulations, this is the 70 lakhs. Understand, guys? So now, template is ready with the dynamic content. Now you can use it wherever we want. Understand? So this is the email template concept, guys. The remaining all are very simple. Again, I will explain you. See, guys. Whenever see, here is that. This is only for testing. Okay, this is only for testing. But how we are using in the real time? Okay, as a developer, okay, my template is working fine. That's it. But in the real time, how we can use? I will tell you. So testing wise, templates are ready. Okay, wherever you want, you can use it. How to use it? I will tell you. So total here. In this topic, guys, simple, very simple. Email templates are email templates are there is four types of email templates: text, HTML, custom with the without using letterhead, visible post. For example, text. You need to send email template name. For example, sales. Template. Okay. These are very simple, guys. Okay. Sales mail. Sales mail. Subject is sales mail. Now, what is that? There is no template. Right? Just body. What is that? Hi, team. This is the mail for sales. Something like that. This is the body. Now, if you want high team, instead of high team, I need to use some account information. Then go to where is that account? Account fields, match fields. Now here, see select fields. Uh, I required account name. Account name. This is the match field. That means this template we are passing uh, which object information. Which object, guys? Which object information we are passing? Account. Why? This template is depending on the account object. For example, this is the HTML template. What about that? Plain, te plain template. Save it. Oh, sorry. This is, don't forget it. This is very important. Available for use. Otherwise, it should not work. Now, this is the match field. How to test it? Send test. Here, see related to records. I am passing the account. Which account? Any account. For example, Google.com. Send email. So then Google.com is a account. Here, hi Google.com. This is the something like this come. I Google it. So like that, for example, in our case, in the HMS point of view, what is that? Whenever one, whenever one patient is come to our hospital, whenever it is registered, then you are passing one template. What is in that case, you can choose either text or what about that uh, classic letterhead template, HTML template, something here. See here, whatever you want, custom, same guys, text and these two are same, okay? You need to try that, it is not a rocket sense, it's very, very simple, only this is the different way. So that's the reason I covered. So in the interview, those guys are asking, how many types of email templates did you use? Four types of email templates, text, HTML with the classic letterhead, okay? Third one is custom without letterhead. Fourth one, visible post. Visible post means whenever we are going to the UI, at the time we are creating the pages. That page you can use as a template. Understand? These are the four types. So here there is much complicated in anything. Very simple. Okay? This is the email templates, guys. But here you need to just remember in the second option, HTML. Whenever you can use that HTML with the classic letterhead, before that you need to create your own classic letterhead. Understand the remaining three options you don't require. 
in the visible force point of view it is asking visible force space okay we will do later yeah so this is the total one guys what is that email templates so here the interview question again i will tell you what is that interview questions are whenever those people are asking whenever you are attending any interview those people are asking so what type of templates are available in the sales force that is the interview question what are what are the templates guys text html with the classic letter head third one is custom without letter head fourth one is visible force that's it guys okay now how to use it okay how to email template done okay how to use it these templates how to use it okay as of now please leave it in the side then we are going to one more concept within that concept one of the parties how to use the email templates okay i will tell you but as of now we are learned only what about that up how to create the email templates within that those guys are asking what about that what about uh, what do you mean merge fields merge fields merge fields means it is a dynamic data if you want to get some dynamic data okay then we are using merge fields what is the syntax flower bracket open close within that exclamatory and pass which object related field you want for example if you want patient name then open bracket flower bracket exclamatory patient underscore underscore c dot name then close the flower that is called a merge field so in the email templates we are using merge fields so this is the enough guys okay this is the you know, interview point of view these are the interview questions okay guys whenever i say interview questions please note down in somewhere okay no okay then next concept guys what is the next concept in that concept we will use email templates as of now our email templates are ready but how to use we are already tested but how to use we don't know right in the real time how to use it i will tell you so before that we are introducing one more concept see guys for example HMS. Patient. Inpatient. So this is the inpatient guys, right? Yes. This is okay. Okay, no hospital. Now see guys, my requirement is my requirement is. Whenever understand the requirement, then we are find out the which concept is suitable. Okay? Why? Because don't come to the concept and real time scenario. First of all, what is the problem? Then this problem we will resolve through which concept. Okay? That is our way. Okay? So here the problem is uh, my scenario. So my client is asking, hey, whenever, for example, this is the one patient. Where is the inpatient guys? <coughs> All are patients, but uh, where is the inpatient? Anyone? This is inpatient. See, how do you know this guy is inpatient or outpatient, guys? <laughs> no actually see here please remember here outpatient and inpatient is a record type right record types if you remember outpatient and inpatient is a record type whenever we are enable the record type internally one field is created what is that record type field so already patient the record types are available so that's the reason internally internally one 
what about that field is standard field is created what is the field name is record type the field name is record type when it is created whenever any object having record type is available if the record type is not available record type field is not created if the record type is available then only one field is generated internally you don't want to create so in this object patient already two record types are there in that situation internally one field is created what is the field record type so then go to any any patient edit layout then see fields where is the record type see record type field is there but if you see same thing in any other object for example the hms doctor doctor there is no record type right now see in the doctor that record type field is there or not field there is no record type why here record type field is there in the patient why it is not there that means please remember so this is also interview question please remember whenever you are enable the any record type to the respective object then only the record type standard record type field is created automatically we are not created understand so please remember okay now see guys here i just added this record type somewhere here oh it's a one form layout ah somewhere for example here contact information other other now say it see now depending on the see record type there is no record type this one why this is the outpatient ah huh? outpatient this is the old one i think old records so that's reason record type is not updated i just added the record type here in the list view i will add record type now see guys there is no record type why i think we are not created any record type as of all our outpatients right for example i make it visit uh, visit as a inpatient so how to do that in that case open the record change record type this guy is a inpatient continue so now that is done why that that layout is coming any bed now this guy is a see here we can tell where is the others there is zero one when the record type is there sorry so we are no 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 i think no we are added record type with both the layouts not only one layout we are added only one layout See? now see now record type is in patient understand so go to here in the list view the last one 006 is the in patient okay now understand guys my requirement is for example this guy is in patient he is discharged okay whenever this guy is discharged i am selecting one field guys i am selecting one field is discharged is a one check box if i am selecting then i need to update there is no status sir we are not created any field okay i will create two fields guys here first why i will tell you what is that first field name is is discharged it is a check box field okay second one is yes. 
Okay, that's fine. Is discharged. Is checkbox. Okay. Now what I will do? Understand the requirement, guys. It is a real time. View fields. What is the field name? New checkbox. Whenever is discharged the checkbox means it is discharged. If it is not checked, that means it is still in the hospital. That's it, guys. So next is is discharged. Question mark. Can you tell me the AP name, guys? Is discharge question mark. What is the AP name? Is underscore discharge. What is the question mark? Question mark is there, right? Discharge question mark underscore underscore C. Correct? Correct? See guys, I all told you special characters it will not take. Okay, so question mark is a special character. Now see the AP name. Okay. By default, I'm checked. That means safe. Now see guys, patient. Which record guys? Zero zero six. Huh? This is a inpatient. Inpatient only discharge, right? Edit the record. I just click on that. Okay. Now I'm not sure. Okay. So whenever this guy is discharged, please remember this that we need to relieve it, right? Whenever that guy is discharged, that means that bed is empty. So that means you need to remove the bed. We'll see how. Understand? Whenever so here, I'm not doing this one and I'm not removing bed. If the man, if you are doing the manual, manual, you need to perform two operations. One is like check the checkbox and remove the bed like this manually. Then save it. How many mouse clicks? First one, two, three. But in the real time, we require the automation. Automation means as simple as you can perform the operations. That means you need to reduce the mouse clicks. That means. Uh, I am just selecting this and save it. Automatically, this field become empty. That is called automated the process. Okay. Uh, why? Because, for example, in the rush guys, in the big uh, hospitals, those people are selecting this and forget this. Then this, right? We are the human beings. That mistake will be happen, right? Then that that is not released. So. It is impact to the business. Why? Because some people are there coming to the picture at that time. There is no beds are available. Why? Bed is available internally, but in the system it is not showing. Why? It is a manual. What about that uh, issue? Right? So that's the reason you need to avoid that type of situations. We are doing some automation. Okay. Business automation. We call it as a business automation. So I'm doing only one check. Uh, then whatever the depending things are there, I need to do back end automatically. So in this situation, I'm just uncheck the checkbox. So I need to make it uh, bed is empty. If it is a checkbox is there, okay, that guy is still sorry, he is discharged. Sorry. If it is an uncheck box, bed is there. Whenever I'm selecting and click on save, automatically I'm, I want to remove the whatever that field. That means I want to update the field. I want to update the field. So if you want to, that means in our case, automate the business process. Automated business product. I'm just selecting automatically. I want to remove the field. That means I want to update one other field. So that means the first one is update field. I want to automate the field update. 
not manually right understand right second one whenever it is updated whenever it is updated i want to create one task to the uh, sweepers or something hey this guy is discharged please clean the that means i am assigned into the cleaning department please what about the clean that particular bed so that means i want to create one record what is the record what is the record guys i am assigned to some walk to the particular team so in that case task guys the c guys we know we are not applying okay task previously i said that meeting now whenever it is dis discharged i am assigning to some people who is the people cleaning department hey cleaning department so i am not calling hey cleaning department go to the particular pet why because we are in the what about that uh, technology field guys so everything will be automated okay uh, if you go to decathlon guys the shopping shopping right the all the sports thing is there if you see for example if you want to go any normal shopping malls then those people are scanned our whatever that uh, our barcode and then that means there is some queue is there put it uh, your all the goods in the cart and go to the particular guy so then what happened that guy is scanned the remaining people are waiting so that is not automated why because automated means it's a partially automated what is the only billing but all the people there is so many sub queue is there but if you go to that vector uh, so those people if you purchase some goods okay there is some trolley is there if you remember if you see i don't know so just put it that all the goods in that trolley automatically there is so many scanners are there the scanners are scanning the all the codes the bill is automatically generated you don't want to wait the queue so in that bill is generated then it is asking upi or card put the card and enter that bill is generated that's it that is automated guys you don't want to enter the whatever the, the waiting for queue so that is automated automated means without manual interaction whatever it, you just go to the so that the shop and purchase whatever the goods already having and put it in that card so that card already scanners are there so it is automatically scan every inch actually every inch means through cloths or whatever may be wherever the barcode is there that barcode automatically scan so all the bill is generated in the screen then you need to select your pay mode so that is automation understand so our every project you need to do like that actually without manual interaction that is the efficient project guys understand so in that case also i don't required and what about select the check box and again remove that i want to update that so for updating the field fy here okay second one is whenever that guy is discharged i don't want to call the team hey uh, ask to that guy uh, come to me go to particular room and clean the particular room something like that. it is not automated whenever i click the check box i need to update the field and i want to create one task to the particular team so what is the second one creating the creating the task and third one is send the email to respective team okay send email these things these three things guys one more is there but i will tell you later these three these three things we need to automated using one concept called workflows what is that workflow is a concept to automate the business process not all guys some process what is that if you want to update the field what is that use workflow if you want to create the task use workflow if you want to send the email alert use workflow email alert means within that we are using our template okay one more is there the fourth one is if you want to send integrating the third party system that means you want to go uh, connect with the sap system that is integration guys so that is called outbound message outbound message it's integration 
it is not possible in our situation what is that i n p e g r a integration so if you want to do this any four steps any one of the step out of four we will use workflow understand workflow is if you want to automate the business process you want to automate so in this case see that's the reason i'm going with the real time guys see here in our case what is the automation uh, 006 this guy is already in hospital okay now what what i will do i just click on that first thing is i want to remove the bed that means i want to update the field which concept you can use update the field which concept for course next update the field for example whenever it is updated then again i am assigning to the particular work to the particular team that means create the task for creating the task which concept you can use for plus now i need to inform to my manager hey this guy is my hierarchy team hey this guy is discharged or for example other departments financial department okay i need to inform to that guy hey this guy is discharged can you please give me the approval that means i want to send the email to the other guys that is business so in that case also we can use workflows email alerts that the fourth one is not possible connecting with the third party systems we can use workflows so through workflow why workflow why workflow means to automate the business process automatically you can perform some actions without manual interaction in that case we are using workflow in that workflow we have what about that data four four things are there four actions one is field update what about that create task send an email outbound message okay one more is there but uh, this is not come under the action i will show you so now how to create the workflow okay same requirement we will implement that okay what is that whenever i am selecting this check box i need to update the field as empty bad field that is a real time right that is a valid scenario right how set up what is the keyword guys workflow the rules workflow rules continue see here new rule here new rule here continue with workflow rule okay don't go this this one i will tell you that is a different concept okay click on that now automate the business process on which object which object here in our case beta patient. patient on the patient right on the patient p patient okay in the patient whenever you are selecting the check box first empty the field which field beta second one is create the task third one is sending the email rule name what is the rule name what is the rule patient automated process okay something like that okay what is that so when this is when the automated process will be starts when whenever we are creating the record no whenever we are check the check box which check box he is discharged that means whenever you are update the field then only the process will be starts for example if you are creating the record we don't required why because the patient is coming we don't required what about the discharge and everything so whenever you are sir, update the record right whenever you are update the record then only the process will be starts the automated process so that's the reason here there is a section called don't require don't require don't require yeah here see created this is called evolution criteria evolution criteria means when your flow will be starts 
your automated flow will be starts when whether you want to create the record or created and every time it is edited or created and any time it is edited to subsequently meet criteria i will explain you one by one but in our case what is that all are created are common forget about the created whenever we are updating the record so every time it is edited i am selecting the second one okay forget about remaining i will explain you one by one so in our case every time record is edited but for example here i am editing the record instead of 8 to 7 in that case i don't require to start my flow why i am not discharged i am not selecting the discharge that means i required some more condition i am updating the record but which field you are updating based on some condition then only you are invoking your process understand so when it is executed that is called evolution criteria evolution criteria that means either create or update so create and every time it is edited whenever it is edited okay but if you are selecting this what happened every time our flow will be starts not like that on the top of it i need one more condition what is the condition whenever i am updating and which which field is discharge is equal to true then only my flow will be starts so that's the reason these people are providing two kind two things one is evolution criteria means whether you are creating or updating second one is rule criteria what is the rule what is the rule if discharge is equal to true then only you need to what about the start our automated process so here see there is a two types formula fields here you need to enter formula field so some formula otherwise this is better option what is that what is the field it is the here is the price is discharge patient is discharged oh in the patient right ah uh, is discharged is discharged equals to what true or false true, true. if the discharge is equal to true and second discharge is equal to true uh, now see the first evaluation criteria tells to the system what is that when when whenever you are created or updated so updated is fine in the second situation for example created if it is whenever you are create only this is there whenever you are created our flow will be starts that is not suitable for us created and every time it is edited but after that it is checking what is that rule created what is the rule first we are creating the record then it is true then come to here what is that is discharged equal to true or false true if it is a true then it is executed but whenever we are creating if the guy is not immediately discharged right so then whenever you are edit the record at for example you are changing the phone number that means we are updating that means evaluation criteria is true and rule criteria we are updating the phone number not discharge so this is false then it will, our flow will be not started understand now whenever i am changing to is discharged whenever i am click on save then what happen it is checking whether it is created or updated what is that that is tells to the evaluation criteria yes edited okay this is true then come to the rule criteria what is the rule criteria it is checking is discharge is equal to true or false in that case is discharge is equal to true then our workflow will be starts understand very very important in the workflow what are the conditions there is two types of conditions are there one is evolution criteria second one is rule criteria evolution criteria tells us when did you create the record or did you update the record rule criteria tells us what is the rule what is the rule means what is the rule means uh, your condition this charge is equal to true or phone number is equal to blah 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 something like that that is your condition guys if both are satisfied then what happened save and next then it is going to the next screen 
okay both are what about that we are updating the record and discharge is equal true then what i will do the system asks to us what i will do what type of actions we need to perform here see here rule correct the patient is he patient is discharged equal to true what is the evaluation criteria created and every time it is added if these two conditions are in the first screen these two conditions are satisfied then it is come to actions what are the actions we have a four actions what is that updated field updated this is creating the task send email or one message so see here email alert field update outbound messages task actually some asks the tasks are available some tasks uh, tasks are not available in the old asks it is available new asks it is not available i think some of the asks are available why because it is developer issue guys okay please check it so now i want to what is the first case i want to update the field which field that field why already discharge is equal to true now that is empty that is my rule whatever action i want to update the bed is empty in the patient uh, which record there is a bed oh this is the look up this is not possible this is a relationship case guys so that's the reason it is not possible Patient name, they say everything good, but uh, okay, it is a parent record. Mm -hmm. See, guys, this is the parent. This is the parent field, right? That is a parent, and uh, hospital also parent. But uh, here, please remember here. This is the interview question. What is that? in the field update if object having any lookup fails if the object having any lookup fails those will not able to update this is the condition what is that in the workflow very 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 important in the interview guys in the workflow in the workflow lookup fails lookup parent fails will not updated why because for example see guys here bad right here bad it is there okay it is a lookup maybe it is a option if it is not there but we are adding we, we are whatever that updating if it is there we are updating if it is not there so in that case we are getting the system exception guys okay so that's the reason if any object if any object having the lookup then that lookup field we are unable to update that is the first demerit of the workflow understand what is the demerit if in the object level any lookup is there that lookup is that lookup means parent object that lookup parent we are unable to update it okay then in our case for example if the this guy is discharged then what i will do hospital also not possible why it is a lookup field understand so in the workflow lookup parents will not updated that is the first demerit of the workflow then what we will do go to the coding understand go to the coding then we will resolve that issue so first time why we are using the coding okay we are just introducing why we are using the coding in this situation through configuration what about that we are not updating the lookup fields in that case we will use <coughs> our own logic in that case we are using what about that coding so in the master also master having what about that for example master where is that master 
the doctor patient is mandatory yeah hey right, guys time is over okay we'll see you tomorrow guys anybody having any questions guys as of now <clears throat> guys please understand if i see guys one second guys guys in the concept level for example if you are going to the positive scenarios guys hey guys in the concept level if you go into the positive scenarios this is the workflow uh, field update done then we don't have any idea we don't get any subject understand so that's the reason we need to cover negative scenarios and positive scenarios. that means that is the subject guys whenever one what about that uh, your team lead whenever in the calls guys that guys your team lead has someone saying that hey this is the lookup uh you are asking hey this is the requirement what i will do that guy say that ha uh, using workflow if you know the subject immediately you can tell that that is not possible through workflow why why because in the workflow we are unable to update the lookup page that is a subject whatever he said you listen and go your system and check that at the time you need to realize oh this is not possible so that's the reason guys whenever you will learn any concept understanding the positive as well as negative what we in this workflow what we will do what we will not do both the cases if you are going to only positive scenario you will you are just robots that's it okay just theoretical question and answer question and answer you are not getting any subject so please understand positive scenarios as well as try to learn the negative scenarios as well understand so if the negative is there so if the negative is there then you can understand okay this is the negative scenario then how to achieve the same thing in the other way in this case go to the coding what is the next step of coding this situation is not possible through whatever workflow okay yeah. sir how to create the custom fields for web to lead go to the lead and create the field guys how to add the custom fields in the web to lead form guys go to the lead create the custom field that field you are selecting in the web to lead form that's it understand murli create the field in the lead object then whenever you are creating web to lead that field is available select that that's it okay guys thank you any questions offline people okay so guys any feedback is it okay or can i am going little bit fast or very slow or is it fine or did you understand or did you not understand tell me guys any feedback based on that i will change my what about the teaching skills any feedback guys online people offline people as well is it good or whatever we are explain the way of process if it is good then we will go to the same Yes. Okay. Thank you. What about the guys? Good, right? So, if you are facing any issues, then ask me. Okay. So that's a little bit fast. Today class is little bit fast means, guys. I I will tell you one thing. Salesforce is a ocean. First thing. Second one is whatever we are already doing. These are the. kids doing okay only kids will be doing these concepts we are just in the 3 to 5 percentage now we have a 95 percent of concepts are there where to go when we will go the those concepts if you are explain one by one one by one as a school we are already completed btech already completed mca already completed something blah 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 right so i just guide you guys i'm just explain oh this is the field copy paste it so in the, uh, creating the field something like that it is taking more than one year okay academic uh, year also not possible so whatever the concept it's very easy then i just explain you in the not more what about that this way then go to the documentation and practice it why because it is just for we are just in the two percentage guys we have 98 percent of the course is there and also admin these workflows these things we are not created in the real time uh, to be frank but in the interview these people are asking in my entire career i didn't create at least one workflow in entire career i am not creating at least one there is other concepts are there understand 
so that's the reason guys these templates and everything just you are knowing the concept uh, sales force is supported but in the real time it is not possible to do these things why because we are completely concentrated on the coding 90 percent this is coding guys understand so these things are i think it is a just one or two minutes we will finish these things the workflows and templates and everything but so many people are out of 100 percentage so many people are concentrated only at 90 percentage the remaining 10 percent is the whatever coding why because it mean for example the same concept guys today i'm explained like uh, email templates yesterday today but uh, other people are explained around like four to five days only email templates why because whenever i explain one by one you are easily understand oh i i'm very good in the email templates but in the real time or uh, once you are going to the real world it is not suitable for, for getting the job that is only interview purpose in the real time those people are asking the scenarios hey this is my scenario how you can do that understand if you are going that way i will teaching like this way these are the very very small concepts guys in the sales force the entire concept sales force these these concepts are very 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 small why because it's a point and click we are not doing anything we are not writing any single line of the code whatever those people are provided if you know the navigation for example you are installing one application guys okay uh, some what about that uh, facebook or twitter or something first day you don't know how to if you go to the application and uh, now go to the navigation then from second day onwards you are easily understandable same concept you can apply here first day you didn't understand then go to the second day and check that what is the navigation if you know the navigation then these concepts are over so without me you can learn this without me you can learn these concepts guys but here i will explain what is the possible ways what is the negative ways if the negative ways is coming what is the alternative approach that means here we are explained only subject not a navigations not a whatever the tasks understand okay guys thank you